Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. It is Color Me Bad Land, back with another beautiful spring and summertime freshie. Want to come on and share a fragrance that's been in my collection for a while that I very seldom wear. And it has grown on me and I wanted to come on and share my love for it. I don't know if I'm just maturing and my scent palette is changing. But I absolutely adore this fragrance and I wanted to come on and share it with you guys today. It is something that a lot of you fragrance lovers already have in your collection. And if you don't have it in your collection, you've probably had your nose on it a time or two. Before we get into that, I want to welcome you to my channel. If this is your very first time, glad to have you. I hope you stay throughout the entire recording and video and I hope you enjoy. If you've seen any of my other videos before and you're no stranger, welcome back. Glad to have you. Again, I am Color Me Bad Land. I am a beauty professional among many other things. And mainly on my channel, I talk about the fragrances that are in my collection. Those that are on my wish list those that are sent to me and samples that are gifted to me so on and so forth we'll also talk about uh, natural skin care we'll talk about makeup all types of hair natural wigs weaves you name it all things beauty we'll also touch on love relationships romance family issues and faith and if you have any suggestions for our channel make sure you comment below let me know what you'd like for us to pop on and talk about and i'll be more than happy to oblige also you can send me an email both of my email addresses are inside of my youtube channel they both go to the same place so don't be shy we also have now uploaded a instagram channel it is by request only it is a private account it is color me bad underscore lynn we will see you over on instagram all right so let's get into it the fragrance that i want to share with you guys is from the house of mark jacobs um this fragrance is one of those fragrances that fragrances that the internet made me buy uh, i've had it in my collection for a while when i got it i really didn't care all that much for it it was all right didn't last that long on me but i found some great layering components on how to keep this fragrance lasting and it's kind of growing on me i was playing around in my fragrances and kind of rearranging them because the seasons are changing and i sprayed out on this fragrance just to test it out make sure it wasn't rancid and how long it would actually lay on me and it stayed for a very very nice amount of time and i thought i'd come on and share it because i'll definitely be rocking this fragrance this summer and spring okay and of course if you are a fragrance lover you are familiar with this fragrance it is mark jacobs decadence and i love the bottle even if i didn't like this fragrance i was gonna keep it because if anybody knows me really well i collect handbags i always have and i absolutely adore this bottle it is gorgeous right and so let's get into the fragrance and what we love so much about it. First of all, the design of this fragrance is just to live for. I love it. I love the tassel. Uh, for a long time, I kept the plastic on my tassel so that it wouldn't get damaged. But after a while, I was just like, let it flow. It's so cute and so beautiful and so girly and so flirty. And I'm so happy that I like this fragrance now because who likes to waste money? It is so gorgeous. It is such a beautiful, beautiful green floral fragrance. Let's get into the notes of this beautiful offering from Marc Jacobs. Inside of this, again, this is Decadence by Marc Jacobs for women. Of course, anyone who wants to wear this fragrance absolutely can. Your main, of course, of this fragrance is woody. It's fluffy. It has iris, amber. It's earthy. Um, it's powdery. Uh, it is sweet, it's aromatic, it's warm, spicy, and it has one of my favorite notes in it. It's leather. All right, so let's get into how long this fragrance has been on the market, who created it, and all that good stuff, right? Decadence by Marc Jacob is an amber floral fragrance for women. Of course, again, anyone who wants to wear this absolutely can. It was launched back in 2015, so it's not a new girl on the block. But it smells just like it's hot off the press, right? This fragrance was created by Annie Bustian and Anne Godelieve. Your top notes are plum, which is surprising. And I think that's what took so long for this to wear on me. I'm not a huge plum note fragrance lover, but now is the time. 
Again, your top notes are plum, saffron, and iris. Iris is where you get your powdery note from. So a lot of your fragrances that have that powdery dry down note has iris in it. So if you're a person who doesn't like fragrances that dry down powdery, you always want to check the notes of your fragrance to find out whether or not it has iris in it. If the notes aren't listed under iris, but it is a powdery fragrance, it's probably got some in there somewhere. Your middle notes are what I love to call your heart notes or auris, jasmine sambach. Remember what I told you about that jasmine? It makes you want more and more of it. It is an extremely addicting note factor. Okay, you've also got your Bulgarian rose. You all well know that I'm in the love of rose right now. So all of my fragrances that I'm in love with right now all have a note of rose in them. Then you get down to your base note. And these are the notes that you're supposed to smell after the fragrance dry down. Um, normally you smell them. It depends on your body chemistry. You may smell some of these notes and you may not. You've got vetiver. You've got papyrus. And you've got liquid amber. So not only did they put just your regular, they put a liquid amber in here. And I think that is what electrifies this fragrance and gives it a very, very um, unique scent to it. It is a strong note of Bulgarian rose. Um, you've got your other florals, which is your jasmine sambach, which is your white floral. You've got your saffron and your iris, which are your purple florals or your violet florals. And then you've got your plum. So there's just a little bit of fruitiness to this fragrance, but they don't overdo it. And I really, really appreciate that. Um, plum is one of those notes and fragrances that can sometimes turn a little tart on my body chemistry. And so I kind of steer away from that particular fragrance. Uh, note especially if it's heavily noted in a fragrance, but they did plumb right in this fragrance Okay, then you've got your auris as well um, Your staying power of this fragrance and what gives it its Strength is your vetiver and your liquid amber Those are the notes that are supposed to pop out in your base Even if you can't smell them on your skin, that is what gives this fragrance its substance If you don't have this fragrance in your collection ladies and you are looking for a beautiful, beautiful amber floral fragrance, get you some. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've fallen in love with it so much that I want to go ahead and add the So Decadence to my collection as well. Um, I've been searching for really, really good deals. I haven't come across one that really caught my eye just yet. Um, but I do have this uh, So Decadence on my wish list. And so when the time is right, I'm going to go in for the plunge and hopefully it is just as gorgeous as this one. But this is one of my newfound loves out of my collection. It is again, Marc Jacobs Decadence. If you don't have this fragrance in your collection and you are looking for a beautiful amber floral fragrance, I highly recommend that you add this beautiful, beautiful fragrance to your collection. If for nothing else, but just to beautify your fragrance station your shelving get you some this is color me bad land saying thank you for watching i'm so grateful to be on and to come on and share and i'm so happy that this fragrance finally found a home in me this is color me bad land saying thank you guys for watching bye bye